Excuse me. I gotta fix the poster. What's up? Oh, got it. Okay. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Oh, I believe we met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Uh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, <laughs> well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Careful, well, so get mad. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. You want it cooked right or not? Well, I didn't know we had that option, Pearson. Ha <laughs> ha! I jest. All right, I think we're just gonna go kill some O'Driscoll. Mr. Morgan. What? Mr. Morgan. What? Reverend. I've been wanting to ask you something. Uh -huh. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. I don't have any morphine? What is it? No. I can't Wait, remember. Oh. This frightful yeah, curse. I, I it. I've ruined my no, life with it. Sorry, is there it's, any way we can leave I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Right. Yeah, no, really no, nice. No, Sorry, I wonder they Jack They were nice, too. Everything was very, well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. No, no, it wasn't directly relevant. Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> what could be finer than a home in a swamp surrounded by alligators? Very true. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again.
What are we reading? <laughs> so, you gonna look into this bank? Yes. I want to make sure we're fully prepped before making any moves. For sure. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Bill! Bill, buddy, what's what's going on? Come here, Arthur. I'm coming. Oh, no, that was Micah. Go fuck yourself. Wait. Wait. When wait. are you going to get off your ass and do something? No, be nice to I'm Bill. I'm pacing myself, Arthur. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. <laughs> sure, Morgan. What the fuck? Rob a stagecoach? Yeah, I can use the money. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old misery guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. Keep I want looking. hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I would. Please do. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill! Bill, come on! Hell yeah. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite. I got two pistols. I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? No. Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope. A man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, right, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him, too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need yeah, to cut himself. some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing yeah, that. Deadwood. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? 
Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. Yeah, Abigail, it's like she's Okay, good. here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Get my double barrel. That'll be enough. That's what Doc would do. I clean this. That's fine. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. As you stand in the middle of the road. Micah, they're coming. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Oh my god. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. How much money did I get? You gonna tell me? Who's there? Oh! You come oh! One step closer and we'll kill you dead. Okay, okay, I'll be on my way. Go on home, your mom will be waiting. I thought it was going to be a camper. What was that? That it, you bastards? It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm your Huckleberry. Oh, here comes back up. What the hell was that? <laughs> Fucking smooth. Actually, don't. You'd probably corrupt him. He's already angry enough as it is. Wait, pick what? Pick an example. Be right with you, sir. I just gotta, uh. Take these mushrooms first. 
for um, science. Yeah, science. Alright. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. He wants to fight. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Oh, I'm quick, all right. I look like a jackal. A jackal covered in cheetah blood. Watch. Boom. Look at those cheetah jackal holes. Like a hybrid. Red from my head. Smoking. Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Absolutely nothing in the back of the wagon. Just barrel and smoothies. Yeah. Smoothies. It's Smoothie Saturday. All the employees get a free. That was very smooth. All right, I'm gonna start loading up. So I'm gonna get the fuck out then. <laughs> gonna go throw in a, a crate. Who is this armed man in the back of my wagon? Dun -dun -dun. Okay, immediately go upstairs. Anything good in here? I thought I grabbed something in here. Keep your dreams light. Get caught in the ears, Morgan. Sucked in like a looney tune. Good thing it's loud as fuck in here. Is there a cigarette card or something on one of these relics? No, maybe. Might be confusing that one. Oh! Usually go down the other side. Ah. You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Well, that's not a good sign. Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long.
back on the desk. Stanberry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. Well, I... I... Danbury. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Trying to freaking shove him. Thank you. I'll be taking this. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Let's sneak out like Sammy Claus. <sighs> Whee! Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, I'm from head to office. Head. Those uh hats <laughs> to count as accuracy. Over here. Shot, kid. Did you get the documents? I got it. Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me. That's explosion. They're coming after us. down the road and he lit the place on fire. Keep going. Well that's in my horse to go. Explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Hmm. Man, silver. Kill all the horse officers during the escape. I did. My, my accuracy was 80. That's because I shot off their hat. I mean, I shot off their hats. That's pretty goddamn accurate. 